Hey guys, good afternoon. Just a short video of showing you my testing process of, of chips for, for example, the Harlequin kits I uh, assemble and sell. Uh, at this time I'm uh, testing the AY sound chips. Um, I have a b bunch of them, uh, I guess a couple of hundred or something, uh, which I sourced from several places. Uh, and I'm testing them because um, I want to make sure that these chips all work. So let me show you how I do that. So I have my uh, testing bench here and uh, the good thing about uh, the ESX DOS on the DFMC these days is that it has an auto boot function and I'm actually uh, loading a snapshot automatically uh, which jumps right into a demo um, uh, and it uh, shows that the, one of the main parts of the demo that sometimes crashes on some AY chips so let me show you. So this one is okay, and I'm not only testing the sound, but I'm only checking the um, exact speed of the oscillator circuit on this board, uh, which of course does not change. That does not change um, because the, the board has already been tested. Um, but anyway, if it drops too much, then you can hear it in the audio. And of course, there are always some minor margins in these circuits and crystals. Anyway, this is my testing process, as you can see. And here. It's very easy to, uh, to test these chips th this way, because you don't need lots of um, uh, things to do to load the demo is just plug in an S chip, power it on the system, and just wait until the demo loaded. And of course, I can also uh, use. I could also use the demo from the start if I want to. But uh, again, I said, uh, like I said, this way I can test if the demo doesn't crash. Oh, oh, that's bad. Doesn't crash. Uh, at this scene, um, which actually it does when I use the internal AY chip in this uh, Harlequin um, 2D version. So I removed that for testing because it does seem to crash the demo, um, and I need to uh, discuss that on Facebook, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to show you this small video of how, how I do the testing of these chips and I, of course I'm trying to be careful, hence the anti-static material here. But this is just such a cool way of testing and I have uh, lots of other uh, uh, ways of testing things like, um, for example, uh, programming, for example, the DFMC interface which I use this ZX Duo board for. Um, and that may speeds up things by a lot, uh, which is great if you want to save time. Anyway, that's it for a short video. Uh, like it if you uh, liked it. Dislike if you don't like tech videos about ZX Spectrums and other retro computers. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, please, and visit zxspectrum.shop. So, see you later, guys. Bye. Head over to zxspectrum.shop to buy brand new add-ons for your ZX Spectrum. Lots of different products are available, for example the ZXHD HDMI interface, or the DFMC Enjoy Pro 1 SD card interface, and lots more. Set a currency preference to British Pounds or Euro, and check out easily. Also found on our website are links to our Facebook page with weekly updates of all kinds of ongoing projects. And of course, do subscribe to our YouTube channel with lots of reviews and the Bytelite weekly show episodes.